Well, I am happy. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Powell here again and we're going to talk about the wand, the tramp of wand. Yes, again, this is my fourth video guys, the unboxing, the first initial review, the setup, how to connect and blah 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 blah. Also how to make it a bit less gun kind of looking, making it uh, colorful. Take a look at my channel, videos are all out there. What we're going to talk about today guys is updating the software on your uh, ECs and uh, also updating the wand uh, itself so we need to get the uh, firmware updated on both units this is what i really love about this remote from trampa is because it always uh, gives me challenges it always does grow always does get better and better and better and it's always simple to get your remote in line with the latest updates literally just 15 20 minutes this video is useful for anyone who is thinking about getting wand or a remote you can trust or for anyone who does use original visks uh, like from trample for instance um, which is preferred method or for anyone like myself who is trying different things trying to save a bit of money and using a uh, flip sky 6.6 plus i still don't know if uh, Flip Sky 6.6 Plus will work 100% with this remote. Uh, on original uh, setup, a uh, couple of bits didn't work, but luckily it was to do with the fir uh, firmware, which is good. Uh, so uh, let's not waste any more time. Uh, let's get uh, this uh, tutorial going. For starters, I'm going to convert this pistol grip uh, remote, colorful and shiny, into a normal uh, thumb operated because that's what I'm going to use. Five minutes later the trigger kit is off and the wand back to looking the way it was originally looking. So one thing to mention straight away guys uh, I don't think I did last time and not a lot of people have is that wand got a very good unique feature uh, which is a uh, throttle lock. So if you're not using your board uh, for a very short time and you don't want the board just to run away from you, there's a nice little feature. You will press the brake all the way back and hit any button once and the throttle locks up. So now it doesn't matter what you do with it, the board will not react. That is quite nice. And if you want to get out of it, you just go full throttle, hit any button once and it's back online. One more thing that I would like to mention. In my uh, first video, I have mentioned about the IMU feature. The feature of the remote, knowing how it is uh, located in a space and having safety features regarding that, like crash control and things like that. I was advised that IMU at the moment is actually uh, not active, so it disactivated for now. It requires a bit more uh, testing and it will become available. So that is cool. Another plus to this uh, beautiful remote that there will be some new exciting features coming out and you just upload them to your remote and off you go. Nice. So why would you want to upgrade your wand? So if you just got yourself a brand new trampa, you already got the wand that goes forward and stops your board. Brilliant. It also does have the reverse function when you keep on pressing the brake, so you think to yourself, brilliant. Yes, but um, I've noticed uh, when I was testing that it was a bit of an issue with the uh, uh, cruise control. So this is now uh, fully fixed. Uh, there was also reports that the remote does freeze once in a while. This is now fixed. So with the new upgrade, uh, the remote will be monitoring itself. And if anything it finds to be wrong, it will reset the remote within a millisecond. This is very nice. We also now have miles an hour. <laughs> so all the people who did comment on my video saying oh okay fair enough kilometers an hour but what if I don't understand what it is which to be fair I got so used to using miles an hour now that I'd rather see the miles an hour so guess what we do have miles an hour now in here uh, another little feature is that the remote will be monitoring its own deterioration so when the joystick is not performing as it's supposed to be uh, the remote will know about it and adjust itself uh, accordingly so those are the biggest ones. There's other ones that I don't really understand. Uh, some sort of uh, a redundant 
uh, throttle input reading uh, from the joystick, uh, filtering it and adjusting it. Whatever that means. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. But I guess it's a good thing. It's some sort of improvement. So, guys, the, let's go over the setup now and the upgrade, updating the firmware. So, step number one, guys, uh, I have already removed most of the screws, but you got five screws on the back plate of the remote. So, take them out. It is a T9 uh, star uh, head. That's what you're going to need. And you take the cover out of the remote. Just like that. On the back of the remote, you will see a connection. On the left hand side, you see three ports. This is the connection that we should be using, or we will be using, to update the remote. With the remote, you most likely got yourself one of these uh, cables. Got yellow, black and white. On one side, it's a uh, male connection that you will be plugging into your, into your VESC. And the other side, the one that's looking like a fork, that's what's going to connect into your wand. Make sure you will connect the cables correctly. Ground is the black one. So push it in the correct way around. It's pretty much like a uh, plug in your wall. Just like that. Nice and simple. So complication of not using uh, an original VESC is that on your VESC, so in my instance I'm using the uh, Flipsky 6.6 Plus and you will find SWD connection right here at the bottom right next to the uh, comms uh, plug but what you will notice that it's not a plug it's actually ports so on the original uh, cable that comes with the remote it's the plug so I'm thinking to myself what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull out uh, the cables and actually insert them with the right colors into a relevant port right here. You guys have cut the original plug off one end and I'm going to just uh, apply a bit of uh, solder uh, on the cable so that the cable strands do not uh, open up and say to sit in the ports nice and tight. Do not make them cable tips too long because you don't want them to actually uh, touch each other on the other side when they go through the uh, uh, electronics board. Guys, there are only three cables to actually match. So if you plug in one side of the cable into the wand, you will see which one is the ground, which one is the CLK and the 10. So you can just run them exactly the same finding the equivalent uh, right tick next to the port on the uh, Flipsky ESC. And this is what I've done. So it looks okay. Uh, I think it should work. So this is how uh, the connections look like. Uh, just make sure that obviously they don't touch each other and uh, they're not too deep as I already mentioned. I'm going to put a bit of tape, bend them down a little bit just like that to keep it under tension so there's constant contact uh, to the pot. So guys, this step is going to be relevant to anyone, doesn't matter if you're using the uh, Flipsky or any other EC or you're using the original VESC or you are upgrading your tramper board. So when you are upgrading the, uh, the wand, we're going to start with actually updating uh, the firmware on our EC or the VESC. It is quite simple. Start with uploading the newest and freshest VESC tool on your PC. Uh, at the moment, today is the 5th of uh, October, it is 1.25. Only a couple of days ago it was previous version, so make sure you get the latest, latest revision of the tool. So it's already uploaded, I'm not going to be going over this, I already got a video on my channel uh, how to upload a new tool and how to set up your board. So just go on it, I think it's called VESC tutorial or something like that. So take a look. So I'm going to upgrade both VESCs, it's dual, but I'm going to upgrade them both. 
and then we take it to the next step. So guys, I have updated the uh, VESCs and I also have uh, ran all the detection and pretty much just reset the whole thing up like you normally would do. So next step is to actually get the wand uh, updated and then test it out. So the next step is... So guys, the next step will be is to connect our uh, wand uh, to the VESC using the cable. If you're obviously using the original uh, VESC, you will be much, much better off. It's easier, but it's still doable. I'm using my self-made little uh, connector cable here. Just make sure you connect the ground to ground, all the cables correctly. So here we go. We are now plugged in. Let's make sure we leave the VESC resting there nicely. Now we are going to uh, we are going to connect the VESC to the computer uh, using the uh, micro USB cable. Okay, and now we're going to power up the VESC. Okay, and now we're going to open up the uh, VESC tool. Okay, guys, I'm not going to do uh, the screen right. Just keep it simple. I think it's clear enough. It's simple exercise, guys, so you don't have to like proper look into it. I will explain to you and I'll point out on the screen what's happening. Uh, so, next step, what we're doing, guys, is we are going to auto connect and you'll see right here at the bottom that you are now uh, uh, connected so next step we're going to do is guys we're going to choose the SWG programming you'll see it right here it looks like a square with some feet coming off it so SWG programming we hit that Now we're going to turn on uh, our wand. And this is why I wanted to keep it all still as a normal recording. Any button. And our wand is on. Yep. Lights are on. Now we're going to click connect right here at the bottom right corner. There is a uh, connection button, so we can actually connect uh, to our uh, wand. There we go. Now we are connected. What you guys will see on the screen is wand remote. Right there. You will see it straight away. So we're going to select the uh, wand remote. There we go. Nice. Next step, right here on the right hand side, bottom corner, you will have uh, three... Uh, options like three little uh, squares it starts off with the erase only erase and upload and cancel so we're going to do is guys we're going to erase and upload let's hit that button there and now you can see that we got a new firmware being uploaded via SWD okay so it looks like it's working so my little DIY connector for the Flipsky 6.6 Plus did work. Upload is done. That's brilliant. Okay guys, now we are going to disconnect. So we are disconnecting. Here we go. Disconnecting is done. Now our wand is uh, updated and our VESCs are updated as well. Simple as that. Don't forget to disconnect the VESC uh, from your VESC tool. And most importantly guys, let me just uh, carefully unplug everything here. And let's unplug the wand. Most importantly guys, you need to now remove the batteries uh, from 
the wand and this, this is why I had the uh, cup removed this is because of the constantly running uh, watchdog program which is going to be draining the batteries don't worry I'm not super duper smart guy or something this is just <coughs> because it does say on Trampus website so we are now reconnected the VESC wand is now on and it is great. I'm going to take the boat downstairs to the garage and test it out.